hello everyone happy wednesday i am currently i'm currently working on getting everything ready for my market this weekend so today is wednesday my market is saturday and sunday it's the first market of the season and i'm super excited i have plenty of stock but pretty much all of them have no tags like price tags and this year i'm also doing something different so i'm putting sq numbers i think that's how you say it um on all of my prices on all of my items so i'm doing that right now i have my price tags in here this is how they look like and the other side looks like this so i have in here the item the size the material and I can put the price in here so I'm currently doing that and I have in here the bins that are getting filled at the moment because I have so much stock for the big market at the end of the year I'm only allowing myself to bring one big bin per category so for like adult beanies let's say I have one big bin for all the styles like double brim and single brim and then the other bin it's going to be for all kids beanie that includes baby kids bonnets regular beanie, beanies and things like that and then one for um, the plushies and one for the booties and things like that because I know this market it's really really good but I also tend to always bring more than what I should so I'm trying to be mindful this time and only bring what I need plus we can go set up on Friday and then once we set up on Friday I can see if I need more things if I have space to put more I can bring bins back home so I have more space in my booth so yeah I'm super excited I just have everything in here to tag and then um, I wanted to make more plushies but I'm forcing myself to finish tagging and pricing and once all of that is done and out of the way then I can just sit relax and make more plushies this morning I made a few more heads for the dino blankies so I have the heads ready in here I have a few let me show you how the dino looks like so I have the bin in here let me put you in let me put you guys up here okay I need to also show you a little bit brighter I also need to show you guys the situation you are on I got this beautiful shelf that is a must-have I have to say a must have for all markets so if you're doing markets you need this shelf I'm gonna show it to you but this is how the dino blankies look like oh we kind of much they're super cute and they're very simple to make they take about the same time as making a beanie that's why I'm pricing them the same as my beanies so these dinos are $50 Canadian and they're super cute maybe they take a little bit longer than a beanie I think anyways I have that let me show you the well I have the bin so I don't know if you can see so you're gonna be able to see properly but here is my shelf and this thing you guys okay this thing is magic it is not just pretty because it's white and has wood this thing opens in here and there these things the shells go down like they unfold and then you can fold this thing completely flat mind-blowing I know it is the best thing in the world you can fold it flat so you can store it very easily you can put it in your car um, laying flat or, or sideways whatever you prefer and then you don't need tools to assemble it you don't need a hammer you don't need a drill you don't need anything you just unfold put the shelf down done it is the best thing in the world it is a little bit more in the pricey side it was $200 Canadian for me um, with the tag I mean with the Taxes included. 
So I think it's something about like 170 or something like that. And then plus taxes end up being almost 200 bucks. But it is the best thing in the world. So I'm gonna have my table and then next to my table, I'm gonna have that because we have a eight by eight space. I measure that and if it's right next to my six foot table. So yeah, I am going to finish tagging. Um, right now tagging my bonnets. Once that is done, I will transfer some of the bonnets that I have here into the big transparent bin that I have in here. And in here, I'm gonna put all the kids' beanies. Beanies, bonnets, everything is gonna be in here. And uh, yeah, I'm allowing myself only one bin with that and obviously if i sell more and if i need more the next day i can bring more so that that's that's good i just don't want to bring my whole inventory because i have a lot <laughs> Hello, hello everyone. Happy Thursday. Today is Market Setup Eve. <laughs> Tomorrow is Market Setup Day on Friday and I am super excited. My bag is killing me because I have been just doing everything and I'm at that point before market where I'm like giving up in a few things. I'm the type of person that every time there is a market, I want to do things last minute and get as many things out as possible. Like if I had all the time in the world or like like if I could make these things like in two minutes, which is not the case. So I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, it is what it is. If there is a size of beanies that I'm, I don't have, I'm not going to be making them tonight until like three in the morning like no just no <laughs> let me show you how my situation looks like in here so i have my crates over there and also on saturday market day my mom's coming all the way from chile she is staying in here for four and a half months with me and my family um primarily to obviously come spend time with me, spend time with my kids, enjoy Canadian winter because we are from Chile. We don't have these kind of winters. And um, 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 yeah, and also to help me for my market in the sense that she can watch the kids whenever Kale has to go to work and then I can also work because that's what we do whenever he goes to work i watch the kids and i work at night and then vice versa whenever he's at home i can work during the day and then you know yeah um, still do mom things but at least i have more time to to work anyways so i have to get that bed ready because right now it's full of yarn and things and then in here we have all of my bins with everything these guys that i still have to glue the heads onto the bases and i uh, <laughs> that's not gonna take time but i just need to do that i also need to get batteries because i like putting some of those like fairy tiny lights around it hello hello everyone happy friday today is setup day and i am so excited so I need to go and pack right now. It's one o'clock and I'm going to be leaving at two o'clock, hopefully. Uh, wait, oh, there. I'm going to be leaving at two o'clock to go set up everything. Last night I finished all these dinos. They have their bodies, tags, and the spikes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight one that is getting 
spikes soon. I have the spikes here, but it is not quite done yet. But I still have tonight to finish everything so I can bring them tomorrow. So I'm gonna finish those tonight. And now I'm just trying to, what's happening in here? I'm trying to get everything ready in the car. So I'm gonna go do that now. I'm going to pack the car and then I'll see if I have enough time to pack a couple of orders and drop them off on my way to the market, to the venue. And yeah, so my office slash basement, it's a complete disaster right now because of everything that's happening right here. But in order to finish packing my orders, I need all of that done because the door to the storage, one of the sides of the storage is right there. So I... In, I need that and then yeah so let's go pack the car and get everything ready I'll show you how that um, shelf right here folds and fits in the car I need to move one of the kids car seat because I need to put one of the seats down I have an SUV that has uh, seven passengers so I have plenty of room in the back, I think for all of my bins and crates, I don't know actually. So I think I'm going to have to take one of the kids car seat and I also trying to do two things at a time. I'm also going to throw the laundry in the dryer it's a lot, you know, when you're a mom, but also a small business owner, there's a lot that's a lot that's happening. So I'm going to do that and then let's go pack. Oh my goodness, I haven't even glued the mannequin heads. Okay, I'll do that really fast. <laughs> I really, I really want to have them ready now, so I have everything here. While that heats up, I'm going to throw the laundry in the dryer, and then we're gonna go pack the car. I'm super comfy today. All black. I didn't do the black on black on purpose. <laughs> um, super comfy with leggings and everything because I need to be moving that's why I have my hair up too because I know I'm gonna be a little bit sweaty so I have everything ready um before we get into everything and before I show you guys everything I just want to give you guys a quick reminder that I will be listing everything that I use for my market setup in my Amazon storefront because pretty much everything that I have for my market setup is from Amazon I just find really affordable things and thing that things that work really good for me so I will be listing everything so if there's something in particular that you're looking for go to my Amazon storefront and uh, under the category market setup um, or market essentials I can remember what what the name is and you will have everything there that I use for my markets like literally everything and if there's something that it's not in there just ask me in the comments and i will share the link or tell you where i got it from <laughs> okay let's put that laundry in the dryer machine <laughs> okay so i think i have plenty of room but i need to take the stroller <laughs> and all of that out and then let's see if things fit i need to put the seats down and let's see if everything fits in here I am already everything is packed I think everything fits and that's one of the beauty things of setting up the day before is that if I forget something I can bring it tomorrow so let's see how everything goes today my tablecloth is there that's very important okay and if I forget something I'll get it tomorrow I just got here and I realized 10 minutes into the drive that I forgot one part of my booty display so thank god that the market is tomorrow so i can bring it because that's like yeah let's just get everything unpacked dolly best thing in the world now let's get everything out of the trunk okay i got everything in here that took like three trips <laughs> but i did it and this is the venue People are just starting to get here, so I'm just out of breath. But this is my space where the dots are marked. Um, here's my shelf, the table, and now let's get everything set up. This shelf 
it's absolutely the best. It folds completely flat and then you just open. It's hard with one hand, but then you put the shelves down and voila. Let me do it. Let me do it with both hands. <laughs> voila. Look how nice this is. Beautiful. And it folds and then it clicks in here so it's not moving. Perfect. I got these little signs again from Amazon. They're small chalk sign and they come with the little um, like frames so you can stand them like this. And they also come with these, um, I guess they're like chalk pens. But it comes with so many and they're so handy for small little tags. I will also list this in my Amazon storefront. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one is the winner. Okay, this is how everything is looking so far. I, like I said, I forgot the booty display that goes in the middle, so that's why that is empty. And I'm still not sure about all those mannequins up there, so I'll figure that out tomorrow. And then here's how the shelf with the plushies looks like. I have a space down there because I'm putting um, a basket with pom-poms. So yeah, I'm super happy so far. And tomorrow, you know, I'll do the final touches and I'll show you guys how everything looks like. The other thing that I wanted to mention before I forget is also these little clip-on um, chalkboards. So this one clips onto your baskets like this so it's pretty cool because you can use your baskets and have your prices there I don't price I don't put a, like a lot of signs but headbands I, I definitely do Oh my gosh, I cannot win my face. <laughs> I am so tired, you guys. My hair, everything is just a mess. I am so tired. It is currently 7.23 Saturday. First day of the market was kind of slow, to be completely honest. Previous years had been crazy, like way busier than this year. Um, but that's okay. I made the money. I made the fee and also more so I'm good tomorrow uh, It would be profit and I say profit for the market, but I'm still recovering the money of other fees so That's why I wanted to do this market to kind of help me get some of those fees covered before the huge market in December November December um, and I would love to be in bed right now, but I have to go get my mom at the airport. She arrives around 9-ish, I think, from Chile. She just landed in Toronto, actually, and I'm waiting for her to connect her data or her Wi-Fi and let me know how the flight was and all of that. And then whenever I go get her, I'll bring her here and get her settled and I'll go to bed because tomorrow is day two of the market and tomorrow I will be able to show you guys around because this morning I was worried um getting things done fixed and I made a bun I mean I didn't make bonnets last night but I had a bunch of bonnets that were done and I needed to put the price in pom-poms so I put pom-poms last night and then I put the text this morning uh, at the market so that took all of my time and also I had to get the booties ready because as you guys um, seen I forgot the booty display the setup day uh, yesterday Friday so I was doing that I didn't have time to actually walk around and also a bunch of vendors were setting up this morning as well so tomorrow I will go there with plenty of time as well. I really like going like an hour or so early so I can walk around and see and get things ready and prepared. 
I'm hoping that tomorrow is gonna be better because the weather was really really nice today so I get why people wouldn't be or wouldn't like to be you know inside whenever it's 24 and sunny outside so I think that was one of the big biggest factor as of why it wasn't that busy I brought things to crochet at the market because I always have a project going on look at my hair and today I brought yarn and supplies to make more plushies so I made a couple of guys today I made this cute little chicken look how cute this thing is cute so I made two one is currently there this one I forgot it in the bag and then I made two heads for more because I, I need to still continue making things for my upcoming markets so what I'm doing right now is shopping my stash and getting some yarn to make something at the market other than amigurumis or plushies because I want something that I can be making without looking and that is beanies so I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring yarn to make a few beanies and I can be productive while also selling. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll get this ready, go get my mom, get in bed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today is the last day of the market and I'm on my way. It's currently 8.20 in the morning. The market starts at 10 but like I said yesterday I like getting there earlier and making sure everything is nice and set up and organized and you know I also really really enjoy walking around a little bit seeing what other makers have and stuff like that because usually the days that I have to prep I don't have much time to walk around and I really enjoy seeing what other vendors have so last night was a pretty late night and I was expecting to have a few more hours of sleep but I couldn't because my mom's flight got delayed so she ended up arriving at like quarter to 12 at night and then you know coming here is another half hour and yeah I ended up going to bed at like 1 in the morning which is obviously not fun because I woke up at 5 my baby woke up at 5 I don't know why so I went I fed her and then I went back to sleep but that didn't last for that long because then my son woke up at 6 um, anyways, I'm tired. <laughs> All that to say that I am very tired this morning, but I had my cup of coffee, so I should be good. And now we'll see how today goes. I'm hoping that it's going to be a better day. Hopefully it's going to move a little bit better than yesterday.
everyone happy monday it is eight in the morning <laughs> ignore my face i'm still with my pajamas is the day after the market and if you have done a market there is such a thing as market hangover i'm market hangover <laughs> I have all these things that I need to organize and put away so I can continue preparing for my huge market and as I mentioned before I did like I put a lot of things over there that are from other bins and what I'm gonna do right now it's count everything again to make sure I have everything um, ready and put things in categories in their bins I have this little label printer that you connect with your phone and I usually print in here what's in the bins and the number of items in the bin and the um, label it's like plastic so when you stick it on the bin it's super easy to remove so that's amazing I know I can do it by hand but this is nice it's quicker and it prints right away so let me show you how they look and in a little bit when i get more presentable i will tell you guys everything about the market and do i have anyone in here that has the label no but this is how the labels look like and then you just peel this and you can take it it's super easy it doesn't stick because it's not paper so there i have to take that soon but yeah i love it because of that so now i will do this to put everything back where it belongs count everything make sure i have everything and then i can continue preparing for my next market and i'll tell you everything about the market in a little bit okay so last thoughts about the market um my create my kids are upstairs they're screaming they're laughing <laughs> so if you hear them in the back uh, if you hear screams in the back that's why uh, so my last my my thoughts about the market um i think pre-covid things were way different than nowadays now things were a little bit slower i had um, repetitive customers that would come to my booth they have bought things for years and they keep coming and buying so i did recover the money the booth fee and I also made more so I'm happy about that but my sales were still way lower than previous years also the weather was ridiculously nice outside and I think people are still getting the last little taste of summer it was 24 and sunny so who wants to be inside you know so I get why people weren't that interested also i feel like it's a full market but i would still push it a little bit more like in october just because you start getting the weather is cooler so it actually feels like fall right now we still get and this happens every year at the end of september we still get some nice days where people are still not in that mentality so i feel like that was a role you know um that played a role in to why people weren't coming that much um there was still a ton of people don't get me wrong there was still a ton of people and the other thing that in my case was affecting my sales is that there were a few people selling the same things that I was selling and they were priced way lower than I was and my items are priced at a price that I feel like my product my products are worth and this is my full-time job I'm not giving my things away so my items are always priced accordingly to what I think they are worth um, oops, and um, that definitely like played a role too. Having people that were selling the same things like way cheaper, like way cheaper than me. And now into the best sellers. So my best sellers um, for the cup for the past couple of years have been baby booties and bonnets. I feel like people don't buy much zero to three because. Who wants to put things like that on your newborn i know <laughs> i know i wouldn't when my babies were little little i didn't even go out of the house whenever they were newborns uh so 
yeah, zero to three, it's never like big, big seller. Like I don't make that many zero to three because I know people don't make. And I think the things that sell, the sizes that sell the most are always three, between three and 18 months. So that's the, the range that sells the most because especially booties, and and you know bonnets or hats people don't want to be put in heavy shoes on kids or babies that don't walk yet so and and i'm i'm one of those people like i do not want to put shoes on my babies if they're not walking um let alone like heavy soles shoes like i do not want to do that and these booties are perfect because it's almost like it's very ergonomic. It's like almost you're touching the floor, but your feet is just covered. And it is um, merino wool, so it's very stretchy. It's nice for the kids' feet, for the baby's feet. So um, definitely super good sellers. And also I sold some plushies, and my, pl my plushies were definitely priced on the highest point, on the high end, because... I just didn't want to give them away. I need to save them for my big market at the end of the year. So um, I still sold a few of those. I sold turtles, a couple of dinos. I sold my big dino, which is the only one I had and the only one I made. <laughs> so I need to make more of those. That's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed a lot. And I hope you guys liked this video. If so, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm so sorry if you are here for the tutorials. I know I am just so busy that I can't upload tutorials right now, but I'm still giving you these content, these behind, behind the scenes of me preparing for markets and I just can't do everything. So I apologize if you are subscribed to my channel because you love my, my tutorials. Um, they're coming, I'm, I promise you they will, just not at the moment. But I'm hoping that you guys are still enjoying these kind of videos because I really enjoy um, filming them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy again. And I'll see you in the next vlog.